collective art. It's a concept that we are pioneering. It's a concept we haven't really seen exist elsewhere in the world, other than with very, very small children, like the primary school age. Uh, basically, it is where everybody involved is together through the conception and the completion of any kind of art project. So anybody's views can be heard and expressed and the whole project itself evolves with the people, with their inspiration and with their vision as we collectively work together. Uh, my name is Simon Kingsley. I'm the leader of Misfits Unified and the project manager for all of our art installations. It all started here in Tiramitica in January 2015. We decided, despite being just four or five people here, that we would build an art studio. And at the completion of the art studio, we thought it would be a really, really great initiative to have an event where we would invite people. This event was for many reasons. Uh, one of them was the wedding of Mikas and Lise. Uh, Mikas, the founder of Tiramitica. Uh, the other reason was, as well was to really create an event focused on art. We knew that if we if we would do a party here that very few people would come because it's expensive, plane tickets to Peru and, and all of that. So then we said, well, why don't we just invite anybody that wants to come? Make it a free party and invite absolutely anybody. At the beginning of the of the mythic party, something very interesting happened because Luis Tamani and Juan Carlos da Minci, instead of, uh, of being friendly toward each other, they were kind of like rivals. It was like a, a, a battle of, of who was the best. And the thing is that they were not really enjoying that either. Uh, but uh, as the mythic party continued, they got closer together. And at the end of it, they were, they were super friends. After the Mythic Party won, we were convinced that this was the way to go, that this is something that we needed to organize every year. So we decided to do the same thing again the following year, but at a much bigger scale. This time around, we built a building for the sole purpose of having its walls painted. We invited 18 artists from all over the world. We sectioned the wall into different murals, delineated by lines and each artist was given a wall which would be theirs. I came a few months before the Mythic Party for a transformational workshop and I was so blown away by the, the work that they do here and what it's done for my life that I basically wanted to come back and see what the Mythic Party was all about. And what happened in the beginning was that the, everybody was doing their own thing which is very normal, so usually artists do. Um, and they all had very different styles. So, but what was really cool within the five days of painting was that gradually all the artists started to work more and more together and meld with their paintings. We started to see this evolution of people really enthusiastically working together and seeing this as one whole with our joint together. So then we were so inspired by the success of the Astronauta we decided that we'd continue and do the same next year, but at a much bigger scale. We would build walls which would accommodate hundreds upon hundreds of visionary art murals, making this the world's biggest exhibition of visionary art in the world. We then encountered some financial difficulties. <laughs> uh, it made this idea completely unfeasible, but we still had the idea of doing it in future years. Being the people we are, people that really want to push ourselves, dare, do amazing things, we thought we'd do something different. So the idea came up to build a sculpture of a huge pregnant goddess of Mother Earth, basically, sitting in the lotus position, and we, the us Tiramiticans, would sculpt it together and would invite people to come to the mythic party to paint it. This was quite the experience because embarking on it, we had absolutely no idea how to go about it. 
La Mama, for the first time, it was from beginning to end. It was a conception collective. It was a collective dream. It was a collective vision. Uh, every night we would meet in Casablanca after a day of painting and look at pictures on the big screen all together. And first discovering things that we had not seen during the day because we were <laughs> on our own thing, but also starting to think okay this do we like this yes we like it okay good so let's tomorrow we follow this inspiration and everybody bringing ideas until there is an idea that everybody is like oh yes um, sometimes as well we would have ideas but not knowing how to do them and then well we had the Peruvian artist <laughs> that we could use as well to teach us Como había dicho, no son artistas, pero lo que estoy viendo que lo ponen el corazón, el alma y todo el ser en las en lo que estamos representando en la mamá. Está toda esa energía que a mí también me cautiva bastante y yo también aprendo de ustedes y ustedes también de mí, es todo viceversa, la energía está unida en nosotros. It's an event of the year that all of Pucal Park visionary artists wants to be a part of because they normally they are all isolated in their own frame, in their own creation. They don't know collective, they don't know together, and they are thirsty for it. It changes the approach of their own heart, of their own, <laughs> of their own art, but also of their own heart. <laughs> At the end of La Mama, it was magical, it felt magical. It felt like we have done something that had never been done before. It's just overwhelming how so much beauty can come from normal human beings. <laughs> how much talent there is. So after La Mama, we looked around at ourselves and we said, geez, we're just a bunch of misfits who have come together and have produced something truly extraordinary. And this was the motivation behind the name of Misfits Unified. A group of people who feel like, you know, we don't really have our own special place in the world, but together we can do amazing things. For Mythic Party number four, we built a recording studio in the shape of a brain covered by sculptures with a fully functional fountain on top. We went into Lamente with the collective energy, like where we started to sculpt together and we were helping each other with different techniques. Simon was like our, our coordinator and like every day we would like have a meeting and we would just bounce ideas. Maybe we could have two waterfalls joining. And then we'd all kind of talk about it until we all agreed on one idea. And it always came out like way better than what, what we thought it would, you know. Because we don't have a preconceived idea or a preconceived vision about where we're heading with the project, it can move from one day to the next in line with the collective vision of the people. So if we start off going a particular direction, but an opportunity arises to either like expand on it or shift direction to make it more relevant, this is something that we that is part and parcel of our collective art. It's one organism and everyone's just working together. It's just getting the little bits of info and the little techniques and the tips from everybody else that really helps. Like it made it better, you know? It, was, it wasn't just me on my own trying to puzzle it with something. It was so many people with so many ideas. I've never painted before. I never felt confident in painting. It's, it was one of my fears. I feel like I'm not an artistic person. But after this, I'm ready to tackle some art. Aprendemos a ser más colectivo, a confiar en los demás, confiar en, en la otra persona, confiar en, en el que está a tu alrededor. Y, y mostrarte de una manera más abierta porque tienes confianza en la persona que confía también en ti. There are many groups of people who work collectively to produce art. You look at things like Burning Man, uh, through history, you know, there are huge sculptures and, and pieces of art done by thousands of people. For us, the real big difference is the fact that right from the beginning the concept is collective and the vision is collective and it evolves from the concept with the collective group. It's 
So after Lamenta, we sat back and asked ourselves, how can it get more collective than this? And we had the idea, why don't we invite people to come to Tiramitika and not only paint with us, but also sculpt with us? So the first time ever, we had a one month long sculpting extravaganza where we opened our doors to, it was 38 people. The point of the extravaganza is to show you that you have all art inside. The concept of the uh, Mythic Party 5 is an amphitheater to accommodate 140 people in the shape of a giant broken egg. At the start, there was like a lot more teaching, getting to know how everything works and the cement and the wire and bending mesh and techniques for that. And then as everybody learned and as everybody gained more confidence in what they were doing, um, everyone just started to go harder and harder. Like everybody was super enthusiastic about everyone's ideas. There is another way of being in the world. It doesn't have to be competitive. Competitive. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It can be joyful, flowing inter interdependency. Um, that's the gift I'm taking away. And also a deep confidence that I can do anything. If I could do sculpting with, uh, you know, wire and cement, I can do anything. I see people who are so unsure about themselves to start off with. And then, you know, helping them along and giving them the instruction and giving them the, the vision, they produce amazing things by themselves and even they're blown away. By the end of it, we were sculpting like 12 to 16 hours a day at night with headlamps on. Everybody was super into it. There was like house music blasting in the background and it was really cool. <laughs> Ya son dos años consecutivos que vengo a la fiesta mística. Yo como artista he participado de muchos eventos, las cuales era muy ligado a pintar solamente uno o entre dos y no se veía más cosas. ¿no? Lo que se experimenta acá en Tierra Mítica este, cambió totalmente la forma de pensar del arte colectivo en mi persona. Through our research into collective art, the only groups that we see do collective art in the way that we define it as school kids, like children. And we find that once we reach a certain age, there's a propensity to want to do things by ourselves, to be competitive. And we haven't come across any other group that do it in the way that we do. Muchas veces los artistas nos encerramos en un mundo subjetivo, propio, y el poder compartir con los demás este, te abre de mente, de espíritu, de corazón, al saber que una persona también va a llevar parte de ti y así mismo lo va a hacer, vas a hacer tú y no te encierras en un solo mundo y es fascinante poder hacer eso, te sientes como liberado de, de mucha carga que puedes eh, llevar tras los hombros y el compartir con, con los hermanos Wow, it's impressive. I feel like what I did here in five days would have been years of school or something, you know? Just to have everyone coming together and the energy just keep ra like rising together just like pushed me past my own resistance and I was able to do things that I never thought I could do and we all did it together. We all were one and we all owned this whole piece. I think that the possibilities for collective art are endless. Like, there is there is no limit. There is no there is no ceiling to this. And not just do it here in Tierra Mítica, but do it in places where where people feel like doing something collectively and making making their their environment a, a prettier place together. <laughs> The 
The next installation we're building here at Tierra Mitica is Umbala, fully interactive play area, not just for children, but for adults, parents, to interact with their kids and have fun with their kids, rather than just to sit back and watch them play. It's going to be a huge interactive board game with slides and sculptures and sub-games within. We're not going to just have one here at Tierra Mitica, but we're open to bring this to other cities and communities. We will have sculpting extravaganzas, just as we do here in Tierra Mitica. We will open our arms and teach people in the community how to sculpt and how to produce magnificent sculptures that they can live and they can be part of and they can share among their community in these cities. This is like the coolest shit happening anywhere. This is this is what I would spend my money and my time on, hands down. It's extraordinary this experience because we can see que personas de diferentes culturas, de diferentes lenguas, pueden fusionarse en un solo objetivo. Y esto es maravilloso, hacer una obra en común y que se perciba eso, como si fuera todo una sola obra. Porque estamos todos haciendo arte con amor, entonces estamos volando juntos. <laughs> you too can be part of this collective art movement. Follow Misfits Unified online to find out more.